Right, we're going to set up a route here using Garmin Basecamp. Um, uh, just a theoretical route in the south of France. Um, we're going to find a hotel to stay in overnight, um, uh, to find a waypoint um, where we're going to meet some friends, and then uh, locate a restaurant where we can have lunch. Uh, it's going to be a circular route coming back to the starting point. Okay, so this route's going to be around the uh, Gorge de Verdun in the south of France. Um, let's zoom in to uh, the area and see where we are. Right, we're going to be staying in a place called Castellane, which is just on the route Napoleon, which is this yellow road up here. Uh, Castellane's just here. The Gorge, Gorge de Verdun is just down, just along here. Okay, so let's find a suitable hotel in Castellane. Um, using the find tool. So control F brings that up. Um, that's already set to lodging. Um, let's set it to lodging hotel motel center of map. Right, there we go. Um, so let's zoom in and have a closer look. Alright. De Levant. That's a hotel, so let's actually create that as a waypoint. You can actually use uh, the, um, the built-in points of interest, but uh, having it as a waypoint means we'll be able to see it at higher altitudes um, and be able to select it easily for our route, uh, the purpose of creating our route. Okay, so that's selected that. Let's get rid of the search function. Um, now zooming out again, you can still see that's there. And it's also within our waypoints within the tutorials folder. Right. Also, we're going to meet some friends. Um, and we're going to meet them at the other end of the Gorge de Verdun. And then we're going to find somewhere to have lunch. So let's set up that waypoint as well. Um, there's a little sort of snack bar come shop um, here that you can pull up. And there's a very nice, uh, incredibly blue lake you can look at over whilst you're waiting. Um, it's a good place to get a nice cool bottle of water out of their fridge or something. Right, so let's set up a waypoint here. Um, so, new waypoint. Uh, let's call that meeting point. And give it a push, pod, push pin icon. Right, there we go. Um, and whilst we're at it, let's find somewhere around there that we can uh, have lunch. So, control F again. Um, food and drink, let's go for everything, uh, based around centre of selection, which is basically the selection here. Right, okay, select tool, and let's just zoom out a little bit. So hand tool, looks suitable, let's go for that one, because um, that's on our route back up the other side of the gorge. So let's need to be the select tool. There we go. Create waypoint. Okay, so again we've got another waypoint in there. Um, that's our hotel, our meeting point, and where we're going to be eating. Okay. Right, let's create our route. So Again, hand tool, you can either use um, these icons up here to select the various tools. Um, hand tool is very handy because you can use it to move around the map, and also if you've got a wheel mouse, you can use it to zoom in and out. Let's get rid of the search. And that ugly cross on the screen. There we go. Right. Okay, so starting out of the hotel up here, we'll create a new route. Now you can either select new route from this drop down. Oop, didn't want to do that. Um, or you can just go R, which starts, which is a shortcut for the route tool. So, starting at our hotel, we'll go first to the meeting point, then on to the restaurant, following exactly the way I want to go already, and then I fear that if I now click on the hotel, it'll take us back the way we came. So let's just zoom in a little bit. You can switch between the tools as you work. So back to the hand tool, just using H on the keyboard as a shortcut. Let's take it around up here. Let's see what happens if we just put a waypoint just after this town here. Or rather, not a waypoint, a routing node. So we go back to the route. Shortcut is R. It's always best to put shortcut, uh, 
routing those on the outside of towns, on the far side of towns, because it then drags you through the town by the most efficient route. Um, again, zoom out, and we'll go back up to put our final point back at the hotel again. Done. Right, OK. Back to the hand tool. Now, it's not quite following the way I want to go, so let's zoom back in here. We can switch the detail up slightly. Um, let's go up this road here rather than down there. To that, we need to insert a point. You can either use the Insert tool or you can just press I on the keyboard. Uh, you then click once on the route and it then creates an elastic band between the points ahead of and behind the point you've clicked. So you can effectively influence the route. So let's just click up here just after the turning. Uh, I'll explain why in a minute. Right, perfect. Now we've still got that selected, but you need the Escape key on your keyboard and selects it. Back to the hand, which is just the, the easiest way to move around the keyboard, uh, the, the map, sorry. Right, let's just check our routing nodes and check they're in reasonable position. Yep, that's just after the junction. That one's just the other side of the town, and there's no doubt numerous turnings will be instructed by, by, by the GPS in the town, so that's fine. Let's just come back out again. I think those are the only two we've got, actually. The reason I put them after the junctions is that um, with them just before or in between junctions they will actually get announced um, by your GPS after you've made this turn it'll say so many miles to and it'll just give the name of the road um, it's far more uh, useful to have it as you make this turning to then say so in so many miles or so many kilometers turn right onto the D555 or D955 sorry um, and then immediately after you made that turning, it'll you hear approaching D nine 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 five five, and then immediately after that, it'll then say continue for so many miles, and then it'll instruct you to make the next turning. Um, it's far more convenient to know when your next turning is rather than the next uh, routing node you've set. Um, now there is an ability um, within Basecamp to actually make the routing nodes quiet. Um, you'll see it's some of some of them have actually automatically done that, but this one hasn't. So it's a bit of a concern, it says unpaved road, but anyway, we'll look at that in a minute. You can right click and set to don't alert. Now, in most sat navs, that won't actually do anything currently. Uh, that's saying that just because it's on the junction of, a, of an unpaved road, so that's not a problem. Um, but um, it's worth knowing that in future, um, maybe in future firmwares for Zumos and what have you, this will actually work. It doesn't seem to currently. Um, okay. Now, let's just view the route of the hole, just double click it, cancel out. And there we go. There's the route. There are our waypoints. Um, you can now save them uh, on your PC, although they are saved obviously within the database within Basecamp, or uh, more importantly, save them to your GPS, um, which you can do. If you plug in your GPS, it'll appear here, um, and you can literally just copy routes across. Um, alternatively, you can use the file um, export, which will export the route, export selection, which is the route here. Um, and then it will export it as a uh, GPX file. Um, you can name the, the route um, and you can just call it um, Okay, there we go. Thanks for watching.